As you can see, we have a generator here. And this generator started coughing and doing weird engine noises yesterday at an event that we were working. It's burning dirty. This filter was used for literally 20 minutes and that's what came out of it. So what we're doing is we cleaned, well, we replaced the air filter. We're probably just gonna use this one because it's not, it is, but it's not super dirty. And you know, we cleaned the filter cover as well as a secondary air filter that is actually drying on the mirror. I don't know if you guys can see it. There. We checked the, what do you call them? The spark arrester. Which is basically this little cone that goes inside of the tailpipe and the tail, yeah, you know, the tailpipe. And that was actually pretty clean. So, not entirely sure what is wrong with the generator, but you know, we cleaned everything that we could. And if it doesn't work, then I guess we're just gonna have to take it into service or something. While we're waiting all this to dry, cause like I said, we cleaned it and washed it and everything. So this is, the, you know, the air filter's drying. That's obviously not, but the thing that I showed you in the mirror is also drying. I'm going to keep on building a bed frame that I've been doing for a bed for my dad. Um, whew, it's getting kind of hot out. So yeah, this is the bed frame that I've been making. Uh, I couldn't finish it when I was working on it a few days ago because we're missing some more of these, which are just pipes with little floor flanges on each end. But luckily, we got those in the mail today. So, so what we're gonna do is I guess I'll set up the camera and see you know, literally one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, like 12 screws. That'll be a quick little time lapse. So I got the legs in, as you saw, by the time lapse. So I guess I can give you guys a close up look of what that's like. There you go. That's what I did. And I think it came out pretty good. Now, the bed frame itself is pretty much done. All that we need now is the board that goes across to lay the mattress on top. These are actually some leftover boards from the bed frame I made for mine. They were a little too long, so I had to cut them short. And it's funny how it's almost exactly the half of this frame right here, so we almost just need like a couple or a few more boards, cut those to these lengths, and then just put them on the other side. So maybe we do that. But anyway, it you know, gives you guys an idea of what it's gonna look like. Okay, so I don't know why I didn't take the camera to film that we went to go got some wood, but that's what we did, we got the wood. So now, we gotta cut it. You gotta cut it and put it on the bed. So I know this isn't the traditional way that the beds are made, or you know, the, the cross wood or whatever you call it is put on. But you know, we already had most of these, so we just improvised a little, and I think it'll come out right. They're cut close enough to where they're not going to fall into each other, and yeah, it'll be good. As you guys can see, we finished building that frame. I think it came out pretty good. 
if I do say so myself. Okay, so it's been a couple days since I did the generator stuff. Um, I don't know, I just kind of stopped recording for some reason, and I'm sorry about that. So I will show you now that the generator has been put back together. So as you can see, everything is back in its place. All the parts have been assembled, no more filters and caps and endless filters over there. I'll give it a quick start just so you guys can hear that it's it's working fine. No weird noises, nothing but pure bliss. <laughs> Everything is right with the generator. Um, I guess that's gonna do it for this one. I'm actually today working on a, hi Frisky. Working on another video um, about the truck that you guys have probably seen in a few videos. I haven't really featured it heavily, but, you gonna come in? Are you, are you, are you gonna come in? Okay. <laughs> At the, you know, I haven't really heavily featured the the truck in this video, in these videos, but a few videos back, a few actually quite, not maybe quite a few videos, but quite some time ago, I did say that the truck was going to get restored. This truck, if all goes to plan, is going to get restored to its former glory. So yeah, as you guys can see, I, um, I you know, I did say I was going to try to to restore it soon, so that's a video that I'm working on today. It should be out in the next couple of days. I'm gonna call it a day. I know it wasn't really much. You know, it was just the generator. It was just me working on the bed frame. I showed you guys the finished bed frame. Now I showed you guys the finished generator. It seems to be working fine right now. We'll keep an eye on it. I guess I can keep you guys posted if you really wanna know, know about it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to post a little more regularly now. Like I said, I have the video of that truck coming out, so hopefully, if it comes out as it looks in my head, it'll be a pretty good video. And, you know, you guys should definitely check it out if you guys are in the cars and stuff. Um, I have an Instagram. I'm gonna try to be posting on Instagram a little more, pictures of the truck or other things that I'm doing. I'm really into cars. I like cars, I like trucks. Um, if I had to say my favorite car, my dream car ever since I was a kid was a Mustang, and right now I'm driving a V6 Mustang, which, yeah, you know. But hopefully I can upgrade that soon with you guys' help, of course. And yeah, so just make sure you, you know, check out my Instagram. It's anything going, I think. But, you know, I'll put my name right here or link in the description as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Thanks.